Welcome, fellow barbarians, to the uh, 87th annual clan council meeting. Let's start off with a little roll call, as is tradition. Uh, Ugg from the Bear Tree clan. Here. Uh, Grog from the Stone Face clan. Uh huh. Oog from the Wind Dragon clan. Present. Oh, okay. Great energy. Uh, well, that's it. I see that Oog has brought a new tool he'd like to share. What have you brought us, Oog? Well, I found some interesting materials in the woods, banged some rocks together, as they say, and uh, invented this Leopard 2A5 armored tank. Wow, that is impressive. Do uh, any of the bigger, dumber clans have this yet? Oh, no, no, no. I don't expect any uh, civilized folk will have one of these for a few centuries. Excellent. Ah, speaking of, I uh, heard we got some money from one of the civilizations, Grog? Yeah, England tried to bribe Stoneface to fight Wind Dragon. Oh, cool. How much? I'd say just enough for another armored tank. Fantastic! This is all positive. Does anyone have the numbers on the East Coast operations? Because the, uh, the clan that's supposed to have it uh, isn't here. Oh, well, between the two of us, we've taken uh, two settlers and four workers from Canada, and Persia's paid 400 gold in exchange for not setting fire to their mines every few seconds, so all in all, profits are up. That's great news. There's more on the itinerary, but I think we should just leave it on a high note. Everyone, uh, please enjoy the catering, and we'll see you next time Egypt tries to build a wonder. That's it? We're just not going to talk about it? Well, there's nothing to be done. I mean, they, they might still stop by. We can talk to them about it then. Ghostfish Clan became a city-state. They're no longer a welcome member of this council. I mean, we don't know for sure what happened. I do. They let all that gold go to their head, and now they let civilizations boss them around. I bet they have a suzerain. I bet they farm things. I bet they use roads. I bet they're boat Mormons. I bet they build their own boats. Well, I built this battleship. <laughs> that's, that's different. Yeah, that's different. I actually invited them here, what? so... What? Why would you do that? I what? just think we could hear them out. I can't believe you're on their side. Your clan has been sniping scouts before their first promotion since turn one. Yeah, the world has changed a lot since then. The, the Sibs are getting way more advanced. Like, not weapons or anything. We're obviously still way ahead of them on that. Of right. course. I mean, yeah. Obviously. Yeah, but I mean, they're I mean. huge. I, they take up most of the land now. Uh, call me crazy, but I think they're making the ocean bigger. What if clan life just isn't sustainable anymore? I actually always kind of liked farms. Ooh! City-states have borders. And walls. And a military. And gold. <laughs> Money's the best. <laughs> Good to see everybody. I like what you've kept exactly the same with the place. How's Venice? Oh, you know, everybody wants a piece. There's actually a lot of war going on. Yeah, I wouldn't visit. Is that a giant death robot, by the way? Yeah, it is. Nice. You still got it, man. Ta-da! We have a new Cheeseland poster on DFTBA.com. We're trying a new thing where we uh, do a new integrated product for big sketches instead of doing like sponsorship deals or something. It's like a vintage travel poster except for Cheeseland. There's like all these little like vignettes of the different sketches scattered throughout it. If you'd like to support the channel and get yourself some cool stuff, uh, go check it out and pre-order one in the next two weeks because after that it'll be gone forever. Go to DFTBA.com. DFTBA. Get yourself something to cover up that ugly wall of yours. It's hideous. <laughs> I know. Buy poster. <laughs>